Hey guys, welcome back. This is really not a welcome back to mental health with Mel. Uh, it's more of like a vlog style, but I wanted to share with you guys something new in my life. I have a boyfriend now. Weirdly enough, he lives in Peru. Uh, he is a family friend's brother. Uh, so my mom is friends with his sister. I met his family. Everyone absolutely loves him. And they hooked us up and uh, we kicked it off and we hit it off and we really are happy together. So um, after about a month of dating, I decided that I wanted to come see him in person. So I made sure I have all my documents, my COVID tests, and I took a copy of my passport just in case if something happens, at least I have an idea of it. And then I finished up packing up my bag, so I'm going to put my laptop in this backpack, bringing him some gifts, so I had to repack my suitcase as well. But everything is, as you can see here, are all the liquid products in here, so it's easier to go through TSA. So I am fortunate enough that my best friend gave me flight benefits so because she works for an airline so I was able to fly over here and book an Airbnb instead of you know having to pay for my plane ticket I just had to pay for this Airbnb just sharing this with you guys I know that this seems crazy and just out of the norm and just not typical at all and for a lot of people that would be an indicator that I am going off the walls or I am being impulsive or whatever the case may be or I'm crazy or just whatever people assume or is going on when things that don't typically happen happen. If this didn't happen that often there wouldn't be a 90 day fiance TV show. There wouldn't be married at first sight like this happens. It happens you find people in the world you're not like that you just are in love with like you just find people and they don't necessarily have to be in your city or your state or your country because it's very unrealistic for us to think that the loves of our lives are just going to be across the street not everyone's that's just not how life goes um not for everyone at least so i wanted to just share with you guys like some of my trip um and what i've been doing while i'm here and we're really only going out to like get groceries and things like that um because of you know the pandemic 
I did get a new pair of shoes though, but basically I just wanted to share with you guys and I wanted this to be a safe space because it is a safe space. I want it to be a safe space for me. I want it to be a safe space for you. I have a lot of people in my life that are supporting me as well as people that question the whole situation um, and are concerned if I'm okay. Like, yes, I'm okay. My whole family is on board. They love him. So there's absolutely nothing to be afraid of or nervous about. He's wonderful. And yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, share with you guys that this is what's going on in my life. And not every decision that you make that seems impulsive is impulsive. Like this is spontaneous maybe, but it's not because I have bipolar that I am doing this. It's because I actually found someone that I fell in love with that just happens to be in a different location than I am. And I don't regret this at all. So even if nothing came of this, if nothing at all came of this and I just met a great person and that was it, then awesome. But if this is the love of my life and this is the person I'm gonna marry, which is where I'm leaning, <laughs> um, then awesome like i found my person so i just want you guys to know that don't let everybody else get in your head like be safe obviously you know make sure you're feeling comfortable make sure the person's right for you make sure that you're in a good situation and that you can get out of it if you would like to but not all of your decisions are based on your bipolar or not and just be happy and make decisions that are going to make you happy and make you feel good because at the end of the day that's all that matters if you feel like in your heart in your gut in your mind that you've really centered and thought this is all the bad things that can happen these are all the good things that can happen and rationalized it then go for it because you've actually made a logical decision whether people agree with it or not and that's it for us today. Um, please come back. I love seeing you guys. I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you guys and sharing my life. So please stay tuned, uh, like and subscribe. I know my content's been a little bit all over the place, but I wanna give you guys more of a personality. So I love you guys. Stay safe. Know that the links are always gonna be down below if you're feeling like you need extra attention, extra help, extra support and you're going through a rough time, you can text or call the suicide hotline and NAMI's resources are down below as well. Thanks guys.